Santa Barbara's Earth Day Festival this weekend is ready to welcome thousands of people to Alameda Park. And News Channel 12 reporter John Palmentary joins us live. John, visitors there can learn all sorts of different ways to incorporate an Earth-friendly lifestyle. One thing we're learning about this evening is we're learning a little bit about the weather with some very blustery winds out here. But Earth Day is set to go here at Alameda Park on both sides of the park, split by Garden Street. It's going to have everything from education, environmental displays, and Earth-friendly foods. Santa Barbara celebrates Earth Day with a two-day festival as it has since Earth Day was founded here in 1970. The Community Environmental Council is expecting thousands at Alameda Park for Earth-friendly events, education, activities, food, and fun. Crews have spent hours setting it up in a variety of different areas of the park. First thing here, we're volunteers. 7 a.m. we were in and then the stage came in and then our beer truck has just arrived. The main stage is set back further than last year, opening up a large area for viewing, dancing and the beer garden. Several locations will have these specialized bamboo shade structures that are here from the popular summertime Lucidity Festival. We make beautiful bamboo and colorful shade structures for people to come and slow down and hang out. We're doing the kids stage, we're doing the eco villa stage, and we're doing the beer garden stage. Two of the streets that'll be shut off but still very active are Garden and Mitchell Terrena. Garden Street will have the green vehicles and Mitchell Terrena will have all the electric bikes. And they've been able to get so many sponsors in to be a part of this event. We're really excited to have Rivian here and Lucid. Yeah, and there'll be a test drive area. People can test drive it. There's the bike valet and then there's the bike test ride. So you can also test those. Earth Day will have many nonprofit environmental groups and companies specializing in healthy living and eating. It's a free event for all ages with a special area just for children. And of course, they'll be face painting the Moxies here, Explore Ecology, our amazing sponsor, and Learning Den, who helps us put it all together. And there's like eco-sensory bins you can create, and wands, and there'll be karate class, and the gymnastics performance. The setup is creating a positive and healthy vibe throughout the event, which ends on Sunday night. We just want everything to be really clean, sustainable. We like to use the bright greens and yellows. Um, and this year our theme is planet versus plastic. So we're just trying to really encourage no plastic to be anywhere in the park. Local bands will be performing on both days with a break for the Environmental Hero Award set for Sunday at noon. If you've been around long enough, you know that Earth Day was developed in 1970, one year after the 1969 Santa Barbara Channel oil blowout that coated the beaches with oil. And every year since then, the Community Environmental Council has put this festival together. It's got cutting edge and modern and forward thinking programs, exhibits, ideas and more. I learn something every year I come to Earth Day. Reporting live at Alameda Park, where it all takes place tomorrow and Sunday for free. I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, it's going to be fun and a busy weekend. Thank you, John. A group of teens will take the stage at the Libero Theater in Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara this weekend and as well. It, it's all happening for a very good cause. News Channel 12 reporter Patricia Martellotti shares why this experience is so special and how you can help support their effort.